Hey everyone, welcome to this quick update video. In this video I just want to show you how to include the files that I provide you with in my videos. To make it everything simple, a few videos back I started uh, condensing all the functions that I made and talked about in the videos into a pair of .c and .h files. That could make it easier for you to just import those files into your project and just continue working on them in any project or properties you have. But some people ask me how to do that and here is how the two ways that I can show you. The first thing is that if you go into your project folder, in this case this is test F407D, in your core you have source and include files and this is where your main and other peripheral initializations lie. And you could just take those .c and .h files and put each one of them in the respected folder. So the .c files in here and .h over here. And you would just call an include like something like here and you would be set but if you want to make it more purpose and have it more separately you can include it as an additional subfolder to the main subfolder over here so in this case the SWO over here is one of the subfolders in the main project folder and in here we have a pair of .c and h files and how to include those like that because now they have uh, no recognition in the software. If I would to compile them, the compiler wouldn't find them. So for that, go to Project, Properties, and go into the Build, General, and Paths and Symbols. In here, go firstly for the Includes, and click Add. We need to include a subfolder. This is a workspace path. Go to the Workspace button, and into your main workspace folder, go to your main folder that you added for your libraries, and click on the include subfolder. Make sure you have the folder that only has the includes in them. Click OK. And now to add new sources, go to source location and add folder, and it automatically pulls up the all the subfolders in the main project. In this case, just click on the main one, in this case, SWO. And if I apply and close, yes, and just gonna click project build all, and it's gonna rebuild all the project and you can see no errors no warnings and of course the main include in here so i included the main .h files of my library and this is the two ways that you can include all the files that apply in my videos thank you for watching and happy coding